Hi, I'm Alan, and in my previous video I told you that I had received one TTM in January and one so far in February. Uh, I did, however, rack up a few in uh, November and December that I haven't uh, shared on YouTube, so I thought I'd go through those uh, uh, today uh, quickly. Uh, first up is an addition for my uh, AFL, American Football League collection. It's Bruce Coslett, who uh, on this card was the head coach of the New York Jets, but he played for the, he played tight end for the Cincinnati Bengals back in 1969. Uh, by the way, I used to have a jacket just like that. Uh, then there's Hall of Fame basketball player, Bill Bradley, also a former United States Senator. And I got two from uh, the Chief, Robert Parrish, a Celtic Hall of Famer. And a couple from uh, uh, a player I kind of knew personally. Uh, I was at Kansas State University when he was recruited, uh, Ed Neely. Played in the NBA for the Phoenix Suns, and this is a card from a K-State set. And we've got Hall of Famer Bob Pettit. A lot of these are the same cards everybody else gets, but that's okay with me. Uh, I showed you Dave Justy uh, in my last video. Then we've got one of my uh, all-time favorite baseball players, uh, Bill Spaceman Lee, who likes to inscribe his uh, cards Earth, and then he'll date it. This was uh, 2019. Love me some Bill Lee. I took a chance uh, at, right after he was announced as the new Kansas City Royals manager. Uh, sent a card right out to the stadium, and it and it came back uh, from Mike Matheny with a Bible verse inscribed. So that was that was pretty uh, unexpected, but you know, really cool. And uh, for a fee, I sent uh, two cards to uh, a rather infamous uh, character in the game of baseball. Uh, they both came back signed from 1968 Cy Young Award winner and Most Valuable Player, Denny McLean who won 31 games uh, in 1968, the last uh, pitcher to uh, rack up 30 wins. And then he also signed this 73 card showing him in an airbrushed Atlanta Braves cap. In addition, he's, uh, uh, I, in my uh, note, I, uh, wrote that I also uh, absolutely loved what he did for Mickey Mantle uh, in 68. He served up a, a, a gopher ball and Mantle hit his next to last home run as a big leaguer. Uh, there's, it's quite a story. You probably Baseball fans are probably aware of it. But on the back of the card, he signed, thank you, Denny McClain. So that was a nice little uh, Edition, and then uh, adding to my Kansas City A's collection, uh, this came back from Jim Nash, pitcher to Allen. This his rookie year, 1966. He went 12 and one for the Kansas City A's, the, probably you know one of the worst teams in baseball at the time. So that's pretty cool. All right. Then got a card back from Fritz Peterson, pitcher for the Yankees, among others. Uh, his name is inextricably linked to former teammate Mike Kekich. Baseball fans, uh, especially those who were aware back in the 70s, know why, and I won't go into it here. I did send the card a card to Kekich 
Mr. Kekich, but it came back unsigned. And uh, recently, I won a, a contest that uh, uh, for, from Eddie's baseball autographs, and uh, I got uh, this. These are the three cards that I, I picked up from him, Vic Correll and Frank Tanana. And he threw in a couple of extra cards, including this really cool uh, Felix Jose autograph. So thanks, Eddie. And got one more here to show you. And this is a <clears throat> non-sports return, but I'm really, I was really pumped to get this back. I sent this a movie card to actress Millie Perkins, who played Anne Frank in the film version of the Diary of Anne Frank, or Anna Frank, as the theater teacher in me likes to pronounce it. She started signing it in ballpoint pen, and she went over it in black, Sharpie, and then she signed it again in silver. So it's double signed, uh, and you know it's a really cool addition to my uh, non-sports collection, but she took some trouble. She took some time with it, and I appreciate that. And it's a nice companion piece for this card I'd signed. I got signed in person several years ago uh, by the actor John Shuck, who was in the original movie MASH. He played Painless, the dentist. Well, that's all I have for you today. I want to wish you peace, love, and understanding.